Let's bring in Bodana Stepanenko Lipovic and Valeria Stepanenko in Edmonton. They are cousins. Hopefully, I'm saying their names correctly. They are cousins originally from Ukraine. Bodana has lived in Canada for a decade and she is now hosting Valeria, who fled Ukraine to Poland after the war began. Valeria got an expedited Canadian visa, arrived here on Monday. Hello to both of you. Glad to see you both. Uh, hello. 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 Bodana, I'm going to start with you. You came to Ukraine uh, in 2013. I believe your parents live here too. I think they're hosting a whole family from Ukraine in their home. Uh, why was this important to, to, for you to open up your home to, to family members? Like when we heard about the situation in Ukraine, that, that the war started, like we were devastated. Like I'm here in Canada since 2013. My parents joined us like on permanent visa like two years ago. So we have a lot of extended family in Ukraine still. And for us, it was devastating, like yeah. even to understand what's happening and uh, to see like that the lives are lost and that our family can be affected. Valeria, uh, how 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 scary was it to to be there and have to flee? Uh, uh, yes, um, it was uh, scary. We didn't um, expect that the war will happen, and uh, it was um, we we didn't expect it. Um, it was frightening. Yeah. And and when you finally got to Canada, how how did you feel? Uh, I felt that uh, finally uh, I'm here. I was glad to meet with my family. Um, it was uh, a very long trip, so. Yeah, I, I, and Bodana, I, I, what is going through your mind then as you watch some of these pictures, particularly this morning as we see what uh, Russians have left behind in some of the areas they've pulled out of? So I'm originally from Kiev, and the, in, we have a country house uh, basically in the area that uh, you were showing the picture from. And a lot of my classmates uh, lived there before the war, like, and some of them don't have the house to come back. And I, when I, I see these pictures and I see what Russians did to Ukrainians, to civilians, basically, uh, in those areas, I think this is just a genocide of Ukrainian nation. Like Russia just want to uh, diminish and to destroy Ukrainian nation as such. Yeah. Because what's happening, I hear it from the first. Uh, so whatever you saw there on the pictures, I heard from people from the first uh, words, like how they tried to flee, how their uh, relatives were killed or something like that. And this is really devastating. I'm, I'm sure. And Valeria, would you want to stay in Canada or is your desire to go home when, when it's safe and you can? Uh, I hope that uh, the war will finish uh, earlier and uh, quickly. And uh, I want to return home, yes. Yeah. Um, Bodana, you and your, your husband, as you say, have lots of friends and family in Ukraine. Are you trying to help more of them come? What, what are your plans there? Uh, yes, uh, we are trying to get uh, everyone who asks us for help. We are trying to get them to Canada. Basically, uh, we are waiting for another family of five to come like in the next uh, week or so. And mm -hmm. then uh, another cousin should come. She's for 15 years old and she, we just today applied for the visa and hoping that she will get it as soon as possible so she can flee uh, the war in Ukraine. So yeah, and so we are waiting for about another 10 people to come. Wow. And how difficult has the process been in terms of getting the visa? I don't know if you heard me speaking to the minister there. <laughs> the visa process is very um, unfortunate and very complicated. Despite of the fact that the program was launched and a lot of Ukrainians indeed can uh, get an approval of the visa, like the process stayed the same. So the biometrics requirements make it very complicated to uh, uh, to process it very quickly because like uh, currently like a lot of people are trying to get the biometric schedule but it's available for the end of May mm -hmm. so and you can imagine if I'm waiting for the 15 years old uh, girl like do you know and she mm -hmm. needs to wait until the end of the May to flee the country this is a little bit devastating 
Additionally, like currently the visa offices, I believe they don't cope with the number of demand coming from Ukrainians. And basically the other family of five that I was talking about, they, are, they are already submitted their passport for the visa, so they were approved, right. but they're waiting for a week and a half to get their passports back. So basically okay. they are in a foreign country without passports and without visa, and they can't even book the airfare just because uh, they don't know where they will when they will get their passports back. Uh, Valeria, are you? Uh, h how are you doing now that you're in Canada? Do you feel safer? Are you still very worried about what's happening at home? How are How are you doing? Uh, now I feel safer. Uh, I'm glad that I'm here, but of course uh, I'm worried about what happens uh, at home. I have my whole family there, and uh, all my all my friends. We talk about uh, news every day. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. Uh, I am glad you, you are there and safe with your aunt, and uh, I hope you all are able to be in touch with your family members and your friends. Bodana and Valeria, thank you so much for making the time for us this morning. Take good care of yourselves. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, I appreciate it.